Pierre the physical therapist and today we're talking about dizziness and vertigo so in this discussion we're gonna assume that number one it's not because you have low blood sugar and number two we're gonna assume that it's not because you're dehydrated it's 90 plus degrees outside today so if you're waiting to drink then you're probably dehydrated so with that under consideration what are some sources of vertigo the most common source that people think of is the crystals in your inner ear blocking those semicircular canals but before we get to that I'm going to clear the cervical spine because the cervical spine is an often missed generator of uh, cervical genic, what we call cervical genic or vertigo. So once we clear that, then we'll move out to the uh, inner ear circles, uh, semicircular canal to the inner ear to make sure that those crystals aren't blocking those canals. Which one is the one that's uh, your problem? I don't know. I care too much about your health and wellness to guess, but what I would recommend is we do a very thorough evaluation, establish which movements and positions cause your dizziness we're going to try a treatment and then we're going to come back and recheck those things to see if we made any difference because i want to send you home with an exercise that you can do on your own to help you manage these symptoms yourself because even if we do clear it a lot of times you will have future uh, flare-ups or issues with vertigo again so i want you to have the tools to help you manage these symptoms in the future but regardless of whether it's coming from your neck or coming from those inner ear serving circular canals you're going to probably have to move and so with that, I encourage you to move effectively, move efficiently, and have a great day.